what connects the seemingly diametrically different structures? The answer is simple. They can be all quickly designed in agent form. It is a unique parametric solid modeler. Some of its amazing possibilities will be demonstrated by the real-time modeling of the design concept of the London Gherkin building. Let's start with the default settings. The user can set default sections and materials. In our example, the default sections for columns, beams, diagrids and walls will be applied. The first step is to adopt the contour of the solid. It can be freely designed by the user or created on the basis of one of the default sections. A regular polygon is selected for which we set the number of sides and the diameter. After setting the height of the solid and assigning the sample number of stories, the basic shape is ready. The next step is to add diagrids. All contour edges are automatically visible in the design window and can be easily parameterized. Therefore, we turn on the diagrids on all lines and choose their type. Disabling the simple solid option allows us to create an advanced shape. For this purpose, the upper contour of the solid is scaled first and then, after switching on the Curve Generatrix option, it is possible to select the scale of the contour in the center of the solid. As can be easily seen, the structure is automatically regenerated and visualized in real time. It is possible thanks to the full use of the possibility of parallel programming. Now the walls will be added. As with diagrids, we just need to select the appropriate lines and activate walls on them. To obtain the appropriate color effect, first we assign the same material for all lines and then differentiate it for the selected lines. The last step is to rotate the entire solid to obtain final shape of elements. We achieve this by setting the appropriate angles of rotation for both the upper and the middle contours. Two more operations will be performed to improve the visualization. The first one is turning on surface smoothing. From now on, the program will automatically generate normal vectors to the surfaces and use them in rendering. The second option is to position the walls in relation to columns and diagrids. Now the possibilities of creating structural covers will be shown. For this purpose, the radial grid on the upper surface of the solid is turned on with the selection of the number of divisions. The creation of the structural cover is also parametric. For this purpose, any line or characteristic point should be selected and the option line elevation should be activated. This enables to move the whole roof up or down. The grid, together with the enable elements, will automatically adjust to the desired shape. It can be created using the default curves or custom curves that are part of the section database. These curves can be easily changed in graphical mode. This is especially important at an early stage of design where we can visualize various design concepts very quickly. Finally, we change the color of the roof plate and in less than 3 minutes our concept model is ready. In the agent form program, shortcut from intelligent form is very well associated with building information modeling environment, among others thanks to ability to save the model in the IFC format. During the recording, the user has the option to choose whether the model will be written in a structural or geometric manner. The model has been saved and will now open in one of the IFC browsers. Of course, not all model elements can be generated parametrically without complicating the interface too much. The agent form program has various possibilities of cutting the solids together. However, in this case, in order to create the entrance to the building, the easiest way is to remove unnecessary wall elements. Thank you very much for your attention and I invite you to watch other films presenting the innovative possibilities of Agent Form program.